Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Be Let your mind be Holy God's fire! Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, and ye have of God, and ye are not your own. Verse 20. 20 now. 6, 20. 1 Corinthians. It says... For ye are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit. Both of them are God. Glorify God in your body. To glorify God in your body is not just to abstain from wrong living, a wrong lifestyle, a licentious lifestyle. That is one aspect. But there are many people who may not be victims of any wrong sinful lifestyle but they are victims of mismanaging their bodies it is also sin because the bible says your body is god's property you may not drink or smoke or sleep around but you mismanage your body it is still sin the decision to be healthy the decision to be physically strong Are we together? Usually, at the end of the year, I have retreats. And in my retreats, I usually gauge my progress against some of these indices that I'm mentioning. And for three years in a row, I noticed that the least performing area in my life was the area of my health and my physical well-being. It wasn't just because of carelessness. Let me tell you the truth. One day, a father of faith in this nation called me after a conference. And he said, Apostle, let me warn you. He said, be careful with your health. Africans kill their prophets. And that thing was a message. Because some of you sometimes as you keep mismanaging your body most people do not know how to take care of their bodies when it's time to fast fast but when there is time to eat eat are we together i believe in divine healing and i believe in the power of god but if you find out that your health is deteriorating do not be ashamed and afraid to go and see a doctor there is nothing wrong while you are growing in the understanding of the Zoe life. Don't die the death of a fool because of pride. If you are sick and you pray, you lay your hands and it does not work. Go with honor to the hospital and meet a doctor to treat you. When you are fine, then you can now have the time to study more about that eternal life until it becomes an experience. Please hear me. Hear me. There are many people who have brought trouble to themselves. Medical doctors will tell us that most sicknesses, if detected early, can be solved. There are many, many unnecessary prayer points that have come over our lives and our bodies purely because of carelessness. Hallelujah. It is important for you to manage your body. Some of you, the greatest enemy of your life is gluttony. Even if you are sleeping and they bring food in front of you, supernaturally, like word of knowledge, you will wake up and see it and you must eat before you go back to sleep. Remember what the sons of the prophet told the prophet. They said there is death in the pot. Death can also be in the pot. Death is not just on the road with an accident. Even in the pot, if you mismanage your eating, there can be death in the pot. It's time to be healthy. 
there are many young people 27 30 years they can't walk from here to here and they were not born like that you climb the staircase you are already breathing as if you will die my friend obtain grace to go to the gym go and walk on yourself go and walk on yourself go and walk on yourself in the name of jesus for the sake of those who you will be preaching to for the sake of the destinies that are connected to you you can't be a young man of 27 30 years you are already breathing you just dance during praise and worship and you have to take two bottles of water to survive the remaining part of the service no sir no sir no sir hallelujah i hope you are learning if we have a night vigil and our elderly ones are falling asleep that's fine we can give it to them but a young man you are starting a vigil from 10 o'clock one hour into the vigil you're already sleeping even while you are standing oh come on it's not just a spiritual issue you need to work on your body go and read what you read in biology and basic science the six classes of food because some of you with what you are eating except god shows you mercy you are it's as if you are removing one one year from your life because of carelessness don't be offended i love you listen look up please in africa we think that the idea of prosperity is to make sure you eat to a point where it's like a revenge mission everything you could not eat when you didn't have money you now go to the restaurant five wraps of swallow and the soup that five people will use only you you sit with the cooler in front of you two bottles of minerals one whole chicken one whole agri chicken and when you eat everything you say my soul find rest no 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 are you learning let me give you a very kind advice jesus made a statement we're wrapping up he said he that will not walk should not eat that is a medical advice if you don't plan to walk he's saying don't eat because if you keep eating without walking there is an effect it brings to your body it's not just a religious statement it's a medical advice before you eat find out what is the work that would justify this food i'm going to eat that means the less your work the lighter should be your eating it's a medical advice there are people who can eat five chickens and the nature of the work that they do that energy will be burnt into ashes while they walk you see our fathers had the privilege of eating heavy because they were largely agrarians they would go to the farm and farm out that energy our mothers would trek to the market but our generation is an e generation your office is in your room everything is in your room as you step out there is a protocol then there is a plane that picks you then you land and you are still eating like a farmer he that will not walk should not eat he that will walk small should eat small forget about acquisition acquisition is tertiary the primary goal of lifting use it quickly oh fire let your mind be holy god's fire